Hello, everyone. My name is Athena Copenhaver, and together with Brendan Kelly, I help direct the SEARCH program. SEARCH is the study of environmental Arctic change, a research program primarily supported by NSF, the National Science Foundation, that has evolved over the past 20 years. The latest phase of the SEARCH program was funded just about one year ago, and today we will share what SEARCH has been focusing on over the first year of the project. Thanks, Athena. The genesis of this new phase of search was actually a, a broad reassessment of the search program uh, that pointed a few years ago to the need to focus more on the human consequences of the changing Arctic, uh, with the overall goal of seeing better, more timely decisions made in and about the region. The reassessment made clear that indigenous and scientific experts know quite a lot about the changing Arctic, but neither body of knowledge is adequately available to decision makers. It further clarified that focusing on improved decision making requires more than a standard research program. So we proposed a complex program in which equal numbers of scientific, indigenous, and decision making experts synthesize what we know and share that understanding in a variety of ways each tailored to specific audiences. The proposal was funded by the NSF's Arctic Research Coordination and Policy Support Program, and indeed coordination is a major challenge. Most of us have engaged in collaborative research and know that even with only a few collaborators, scheduling meetings and dealing with asynchronous efforts can be a substantial management challenge. So with more than 40 widely spread collaborators, this has required a very high level of coordination. Inevitably, much of our business has to be conducted virtually, which is especially challenging for collaborators in remote portions of Alaska. We are trying to ameliorate some of those challenges with technology solutions. One example would be by providing iPads and data plans for the more remote participants contributing to this latest phase of the search program. We also knew from the outset that having to share our collaborative syntheses in multiple audience specific formats would be challenging and time consuming. Currently, our efforts to share our syntheses range from flyers to policy briefs to a giant screen film. The typical scientific approach, wherein each researcher contributes data or, and, or analysis with one person drafting a manuscript is not entirely appropriate for our cross-cultural collaboration. We have found, however, that careful record keeping of team discussions yields rich syntheses that we already have shared in diverse formats. Athena, maybe you could just provide one example. Sure, thanks for that, Brendan. Bringing together knowledge from diverse perspectives necessarily requires numerous long conversations. Key for us has been learning how to synthesize understanding from those discussions across knowledge systems. We are having some success weaving diverse contributions and conversations into a whole. For example, an essay we submitted to the Arctic Report Card emerged from many search discussions as well as an oral history by Atna Dene Elder Wilson Justin, recorded by co PI Jackie Catalina Schaefer. Together, the written essay and the oral history synthesize indigenous and scientific understanding of the consequences for humans resulting from rapid Arctic change. Yeah, that, that's a good example. And I know you have others. Uh, our, our efforts to build, uh, our efforts are built on the great work of many colleagues such as Wilson Justin, and we are intent on sharing our successes and challenges broadly. Hence, we host a bi-monthly integration webinar. Each one starts with a brief readout on search activities, solicits the same from other groups, and provides for informal communication. If you'd like to participate in the integration conversations, please email Athena at the address shown here. And with that, we'd like to thank you all for listening to us. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.